ロッテリアへ急げバナナとチョコのパワーアップシェイクだスーパードンキーコングシェイク登場ロッテリアでね We've got to make sure we have the necessary supplies for this marathon. Let's do this. I have a lot to say about these three games. So, let's waste no more time and just jump right in. Whenever people talk about the greatest of classic platformers from the 80s and 90s, we hear a lot about titles like Super Mario Bros. 3, Super Mario World, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and Sonic 3 and Knuckles. These games often make it onto the top 10 list of their respective consoles. If you've seen my reviews, then you'll know that I happen to enjoy all of those quite a bit. Though I do still maintain that the Genesis version of Sonic 2 can be unnecessarily frustrating for first time players. While those games are certainly great on their own terms, I've always found it disappointing that the Donkey Kong Country series hasn't gotten quite the same attention. Sure, the series has always had its fans, but more recently it seems that parts of the gaming community, and especially newcomers, have been somewhat critical of these titles. People only like them for their graphics, they say. The games have too much trial and error, they say. The gameplay isn't all that interesting, they say. While I can see why new players may make these claims and will respect them for making them, I don't think enough credit is being given here. The Donkey Kong Country trilogy is more than shallow, pre rendered graphics and frustrating trial and error difficulty. I think that if one were to give these games a proper chance, they'd find that they deserve to rank up with the Marios and Sonics of their time. They're fast paced, well designed, reasonably challenging, and just all around fun and enjoyable games. I'd even go as far to argue that one of them is the best classic side scrolling game I've ever played. Yeah, you heard me. I know that's pretty high praise, and coming from someone who didn't even experience the Donkey Kong Country trilogy during its original run in the mid 90s. Like perhaps many others of my generation, I experienced Experienced them first through their GBA remakes, and wasn't exposed to the SNES originals until they came out in the Wii Virtual Console. Both fans and non fans of the series alike have seemed to poo poo the GBA remakes as second tier versions that are quite clearly inferior. Just like how the Mario fanbase has seemed to ignore the Advance remakes, the DKC remakes for GBA have been similarly spurned simply for their being remakes. I won't try to deny that my exposure to these versions of my formative years of gaming hasn't affected my views of them. Even I can succumb to the subtle and wraith like pressures of nostalgia. Still, I consider this to be yet another case where the remake reactionaries have not given credit where credit is due. While the GBA remakes might be inferior to the SNES originals in some aspects, I'd argue that they also surpass them in others. That's why, as with previous ROR installments, I wish to give both versions an in depth review to see how the remakes attempt to recreate, build upon, and possibly even surpass the originals. We're going to be looking at each installment in the original trilogy, and their remakes for GBC and GBA. I'll also be dedicating a single video to the Donkey Kong Land trilogy, along with a short ROR of DKC1 and Game Boy Color. If you were expecting a Donkey Kong Country Returns ROR, I'm sorry, but I don't have a 3DS capture, so I have no way to record for it. For this marathon, we're sticking to the Rareware stuff. This is Donkey Kong Country Remake or Rebring. But there's one more thing I have to talk about. Super Mario Advance 4 is one of the few GBA games compatible with the ill fated e reader accessory. Don't remember it? Well, neither do I. So, here's the deal. First, you had to buy an e reader, which probably retailed for a sizable lump of cash. Second, you had to plug the e reader into your GBA, but that wasn't enough. If you're trying to use the e reader with your games, you had to get a second GBA and plug the game into it, and then link the two systems together with a link cable. Yeah, so that means that if you don't own a second GBA console, you either had to ask your friend to lend it to you, or just flat out buy a new one. It's no wonder this piece of shit failed so hard, the setup is atrocious. Using the e reader, you could download power ups into Mario's inventory, as well as unlock entirely new levels. Yeah. And. It's time! It's time! It's time to fight! Yeah. It's time, Patrick! I hope we can make do with the few provisions we have. スーパーファミコンのゲームソフトに大革命が起こった今までのテレビゲームでは表現できなかったコンピューターグラフィックスの迫力ある映像すごい今ドンキーコングがテレビゲームソフトの新しい時代を切り開いたスーパードンキーコング新発売
special. And now with Hello people, today I'm going to be playing Silver Doggy Con. Because you, because this is my first game, because I don't care. And also, I don't know how to do the space camp. Okay, so... Alright, the Japan is Silver Doggy Con, and then the American is called Doggy Con Country. I'm going to play on the Silver Mammal Con. I hope I do best. Here we go. Alright, here's the demo version. This is the demo version. Okay. I'm gonna be doing two player people. I'm one person with two players. Alright. I hope this demo version will be over people. They will play it. Oh! Alright, I had to press start. Okay, I had to put live say slot and put two player team. Alright, so you may know as I can't read Japan. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is why I don't even care. Okay, so there's some secret stuff, people. I had to go into DK's house. Oh, there's an extra line. Alright. Now I have to go check if this is K in Wow, there's no bananas. <sighs> right. We had this we had this we had to get his banana back by collecting all these bananas. I don't know how many bananas I had to collect. Yes. Good. Okay. Terrible! Wait a minute, where's the metal barrel? Oh great, it disappeared. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. I thought, I thought the egg American version that you can out screen and then you can cry in it. But instead it's just... I'm not, I'm not gonna say it, people. I'm not gonna say it. Just, let's just keep on playing. Let's just keep on playing, people. I don't care if I fail or not, people. Because, because this is my life. Okay, so as you can see here, you can find these bonus rooms. You know how you get 101% people by by visiting bonus room. I had no idea, people. I didn't even know it. Now other people know it. Okay, now we found another bonus room. All right, a slot machine. <laughs> Three in a row. We, we earned another one. Yay! Oh, it started to rain. Here we go. Oh yeah, complete it. All right, level two. All right, level two, people. This is gonna be okay. Now it's raining. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. This is what happens. This. This is gonna darn, darn it! Oh, barnacles. I lost Donkey Kong and now I had to get him back by doing this DK barrels. Yes, thank you. I know there's something in there. These bananas and then, oh, ah! oh, Why is the tires disappear? Oh wait. This is what happens in 
I wanna, I wanna see if the person difficulties is the ch American versus Japanese and see what happens. All right, I win again. All right, let's meet the cranky con. I can't, I can't even read Japan. I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need a Japan book and read it. <sighs> okay, we're on level three now. I hope I hope you enjoy level three. This I don't even know this. <sighs> All right. All right, I got extra life. Alright, I know. Sorry, Tyson, I know where the voice roll is, sorry, Tyson, I don't. Alright. This is. This is. Alright. Alright. I don't know what's gonna happen. I thought there's gonna be some cheat codes I had to do on Super Famicom, Cut, but I, all I saw is just one or more cheat codes. I had to go into the race room and then do all these weird combos on these controllers. But instead, I can't do that because there's no hard mode. There's no hard mode. Look familiar? Well, the hard mode is you can't use DK Barrel. There's no DK Barrel in hard mode. But Okay, let's go get the golden animal, and now, <sighs> snakes, <sighs> I, I don't know how many I had to collect, gone, alright, alright, level 4, guess, guess what level 4 is people, yep, it's a final water level, Everybody loves war, modern war levels. Yep. Okay. In this, in this war level, you have to be careful by not touching these animal war animals. You know why? Because they're gonna kill you. <sighs> Every animal wants to kill them. Okay. Okay. I gotta get out of here. I gotta collect all these bananas to fill up Donkey Kong's cave. Alright! What?! Darn it! Don't worry, DK, I'll save you, whatever that is. But, until I had to find this DK, dang it! I lost a lot. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Don't worry, everyone. Just... I still had to get a chance. Let's try this again. Okay, this is what I call this one. Okay. I can't imagine if I can just die and lose a light and then do. Oh. <sighs> I'll get that. <sighs> oh, God. Yeah, for you. That's my point. My boys on this. Boy. Yes. Other people does that. Just lay that camera down. Yeah. Then I had to put the voice on this let's play. On this play. Well, I did this playthrough. Yeah. So you put in this talk on YouTube. I'm putting the talk on this. I think my, I think my ending is on 11 minutes and 13 seconds, I had to stop there. Alright, I think, I think I'm almost done treatful because I had to, I don't know how many, I don't know how long I had to fly this before. Okay, I got three. 
You can't grab me. I'm doing this. Yeah. Oh, great. I'm playing the end of. I don't you say this to people. I'm doing this playthrough, and you're trying to. Can you excuse me? I'm playing this game. Still playing this, but I'll see you. Squish. Right. I'll see you tomorrow, people. So, so, bye. Now. 